Alrighty guys, it's Silver. And you can hear that rocking music. Are you ready for Doom, guys? Are you ready? I should hope you are ready for Doom. It is showtime. Let's get started. We shall be the Doom guy this evening, folks. And we have a cat box from Suki. Greetings, Suki, greetings. Thanking you very much. Let's get locked and loaded. And I might require your assistance with audio balancing, my good lady. Because audio balancing on Doom is going to be a bit of a pain. Right. We're in. Campaign. New game. We'll forget about our little test run earlier. Except... Gonna go Doom 3. And we're going Veteran. None of this, um... None of this, um, regular difficulty. Kinda low on the audio. Oh, the game audio. And other scientific I'll up it slightly, don't With worry. Unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Yeah, I played around with things a bit in my um my test playthrough earlier. Just to tweak the sound a little bit and that kind of thing, and also adjust the brightness slightly because this is a dark game. A very dark game. We get to be Doom Marine. Doom guy, Mr. Jin. Mr. Jin, pull up a seat, good sir. We're playing Doom for a bit. Roger, Darkstar. Descend to 2,000. Set speed. Contact ground on 26972. Okay. Roger that tower. I'll try my best not to talk during cutscenes. There aren't many of them. in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. <laughs> We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. Okay, ladies and gents. Look like it looks like it's a pretty full house. We got six of you in. According to the chat box. Alrighty. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage right. control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the trooper is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, counselor. Right, let's get caught up with chat. And also sat up a fraction. Right. Mr. Jonathan's here says, what's this change? We're playing Doom, my dude. Because we've been playing a lot of Bloodborne recently. And I don't want fatigue to set in. Especially since we've been playing it so diligently. I've come to realise that when fatigue sets in with playthroughs, that's when I kind of let them go by the wayside a little bit. So to avoid it going by the wayside and having a lengthy like month to two month delay again, we're going to have a bit of doom for a couple of parts. Just lighten things up a bit, bit of fun. I've been wanting to play doom on stream for a while. And then we'll be spacing that out with a bit of Bloodborne as well. So it's all going to be good. Mr. Jin is here. <coughs> Do uh, says, <laughs> good thing I've just woken up. Hello, Mr. Jin. It's a pleasure. And our boy Snake's here. Says Doom VFR. Indeed, it is a Doom night, good sir. So, I'm sat up. I'm comfortable. I've already had a bit of a test playthrough earlier. For about the first kind of half an hour. Played around with the volume settings a bit. You know, tweaked Welcome the audio. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. And the, um, the brightness as well. To expedite your processing, please here. proceed directly to reception. I'm getting off this rock. And you because 
The audio balancing in this game can be a bit difficult. I still need to get Doom Eternal. My dude, I've not played the, the 2016 Doom yet. I was going to for stream at one point, but then it was going to take 50 megabytes of patches. This is for virtual effing reality, by the way. Very good, very good. Thanks for stopping in anyway, guys. I do appreciate it. Sorry that I've woken you up, Mr. Jonathan, but I do appreciate you being here. And thank you very much. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, Bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. And like you can see in the description, we're playing on Veteran because none of that standard difficulty. It's a first-person shooter. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, We're going to Director study, and military Please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one, we're going to investigate the area, see what's around. To help achieve this goal, we Welcome to Mars, Marie, where pragmatism is a buzzword. Isn't Doom VFR just a VR port of Doom 2016? I have no idea. Hey, Orion's here. What's up, Orion? That's sealed. We can't go in there. <clears throat> Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up your quarters. Seven of you okay. in. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. All right, see, UFC PDA. Excellent. Right, we're going to in investigate the area and speak to as many people as possible. See if there's anything else around to explore. Because after the first sort of ten minutes, stuff really um kicks off. How are you doing, Orion? And yep, I know that Doom 2016 is epic, my dude. I have watched Mars one of my favorite YouTubers play it. Please smoke only in I just areas. haven't Thank you for your cooperation. gotten around to playing it myself yet. Purely because, like I said, the one time I was going to play it on stream... The 50 gigabytes of patches put me well off. And Doom 3 is still my favourite up until this point. Though I am sure Doom 2016 will take the cake when I start playing it. Download. Data sent to PDA. Right. Let's explore. And speak to people. Yeah, how is everything, Orion? It's a pleasure. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. Indeed, I am new. I am the I'm new here Marine. Because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? <clears throat> Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. How many sing? Let's go. Right. Jin says, oh, speaking of reboots identified by release year, I finally saw Halloween 2018, by the way. Was it good, my dude? I've heard some very good things about it. Rob Zombie was involved in that, right? Jonathan says the bald guy must be the villain. They have thrown us a curveball here with all the lack of hair. 
Because a bald guy is always the villain in a in a game or a movie. Yes, we know this. IPN News Network, your universe now. Let's watch the news. The Let's check out the news. Yeah, I gotta go for the bit. bit. Hopefully I'll be, I'll be. No problem, Mr. Snake. I will be here. We've only just gotten started. Increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outlying planetary sectors. Authorities Luckily, you have luxurious locks. Yes, you have seen my hair. Miller, it is currently past my shoulders and almost covering my eyes. Oh my god, guys. That's it. We're playing freaking Turkey Puncher. Oh, get in there. It's almost Christmas. We need more turkeys. Okay, now I'm feeling mean. We're going to stop. We're going to stop. I feel bad. I actually feel... I actually felt a pang of guilt there. We're going to stop. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. Accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So... Tell me, just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was here one minute, gone the next. Lucky bastard. When are we gonna shoot some demons? We're getting there, dude. Doom 3 is a bit slow to start. I'm assuming you've played it, right? Marine Command is right around the corner. Why don't you go bother someone there? It's got a it's got a bit of a 5 minute warm up to it. And then once you've done that, it's it's non-stop all the way through. I'm really trying to get this fixed quickly, so uh do you mind? That's sealed. Which means Attention. Dr. Braddock, this way. please report to Environment Management Office for Alpha. We've got to attend to shoot them um, with hypocrisy and paperwork first. Ah, uh, hypocrisy and paperwork, it's the British way. Kelly ASAP. He's in command HQ. Okay. Don't waste any more time. Go see the Sarge. This is Delta Science Marine HQ. Like Many years ago, I remember the OG Doom more clearly than any other. Yes, yes. This game's getting old now. I didn't realize this came out in 2004. You can tell because it has no bloody iron sights on it. Took his sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. Hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Go on, Mr. Spider. Follow Mr. Spider. We have a spider friend. Somebody recently got the original Doom working on a pregnancy test. You know what I'm going to call that? If they managed to get the original Doom working on a pregnancy test, I'm going to call that playthrough clear blue and under control. Yeah, you see what I did there. Come on, Mr. Attention, Spider. Let's go. Interested in earning more credit? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. Come on, Mr. Spider. Service branch director for more details. I feel I find it so bizarre playing FPS games that don't have iron sights now. Yet it it was jarring. It was jarring at first, man. It really was. Cause my favourite first person shooter series of all time, Time Splitters, those games came out before Doom. Or Doom 3. And they had iron sights. Not having iron sights on a first person shooter threw me off. Cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. And let me also thank all of you guys for stopping in. 
And let me also thank you for dropping a few likes as well. Always appreciated when you drop likes. Thank you, Mr. Spider. Right, let's go. And you can also interact with the P your PDF here in order to read messages and get a heads up on stuff that's going on. How to open locked doors and sealed ammo caches and that kind of thing. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. 396, you got it. Right, okay, let's do this. Three. Oh no, 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 no. Nine. Six. In we go. Couple of handgun clips. Well, one handgun clip because we're playing on veteran. So less ammo. We're not playing Nightmare because I'm not an outright sadist. But we're playing veteran because standards a bit too easy. And Jin says... Oh, first of all, Jonathan. Oh, no. Let's get caught up. Jin says... I was, <laughs> I was going to ask if it was a clear blue digital. Then Jonathan says, stop playing Battlefield. Oh, stop, I play Battlefield and the iron sights come from the gun itself rather than having a dot on the screen and Jin says dude I just remembered how much I liked fear oh Jin my dude if if they had fear on the PlayStation store then I would be playing it already fear is so good I've only played a few hours of the first one but it's so good and Suki says I am the storm that is approaching provoking black clouds in isolation that was dark. That was dark. Right, so we need to go service passage. Then go to Mars City. And I also need to get comfy since we're going to be streaming for the long haul. Ah, there we go. Let me just adjust the cushion behind my back. You play Bloodborne Dark Souls. <laughs> I am the receiver of my name, born in flames. I have been best blessed with the family crest of the demon of death. Are these song lyrics by any chance, Suki? Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Yes, finally a weapon. To be fair though, that pistol does not look very imposing. Your stuff's in this now, you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. All set. Oh, Excellent. Yeah. Keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. Hold on. This is so weird. Yeah, shooting game, says the guy playing near. Forsaken I am. Play Devil May Cry, Silver. I'll get around to it, Suki, don't worry. I will admit that the protagonist of Devil May Cry does share a resemblance, with a, a resemblance with a certain someone. I'm not sure to who you're referring there, dude, but alright. Oh, haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. I will enjoy my stay. Most, um, most eagerly and excitedly. Okay. 
All right, we're going down the stairs. You, uh, you, dude, are you saying I look like? Me? There's no way I look like a Devil May Cry protagonist. There's no way I look like a Devil May Cry protagonist. Hey, you're looking for the scientist, right? I'm not sure you want to find him. You see, uh, never mind. Right, thanks for that foreboding bit of advice. Listen, Scotty, I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Oh, Jonathan, that feels a bit like an insult to me. Oh God, he's saying I look like he's saying I look like the one from the freaking remake. Oh, nobody seems to trust the wise guy. Is the wise guy going to lead me to demons, Mr. Orion? Maintenance guy, not keep any of these machines running. Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't explain some of the things that have been happening to the systems. It's weird. Just get it done. Hey, Monica's here. What's up, Monica? How you doing? And Jonathan says, it's not an insult. I like that game. Yeah, how is everybody doing? Let's enjoy some Doom. Jeez. <sighs> do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Yes, I do. Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. No, because I remember Wise Guy's only favorite games are Roblox and Minecraft. I'm doing good. How are you and everyone else? I am not bad at all. I am really looking forward to playing some Doom. Oh God, lights are out. You're about to see just how dark this game gets. It gets really dark. And I've actually upped the brightness slightly. It would be darker, but I've upped it a fraction just so I can see a bit better. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old comm center, right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. You said it's got plenty of oxygen. I like how... Um, conspicuously silent Suki has suddenly become. I'm doing this. And Jonathan says, I am very comfortable in bed looking forward to what I have prepared for breakfast because I am not having cereals as I forgot to buy milk. What's for breakfast, Jonathan? Do indulge me. I don't eat breakfast too often because I'm so un... I'm so ill-adjusted to eating breakfast these days that if I eat food before 10 a.m. I start to feel queasy. So I rarely eat breakfast. I'll occasionally force something if I have to and I've got a long day ahead of me, but otherwise I don't eat a lot. A guy talks like a stormtrooper. That's one way of putting it, Orion. Are these the droids he's looking for? Garlic bread and onion bargies. Oh, you freaking legend. That's one way of doing it. Right, it's time. We're actually going to get some this stuff Dr. done. Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Let's do this. I love it how Suki's just quoting song lyrics. Open the door, please. Right. Okay. Comfortable. Gotta concentrate. Because in a minute, things are gonna get very real. And a lot darker. Here we go. No, no. It begins. Please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, I How many characters does Steve Bloom, Bloom play in this? The devil is real. Many of them. Many of them. And I love it.
It begins. It begins, guys. It begins. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Fall back to Marine HQ or get shafted. Um, tried out my slow cooker for the first time. Sadly, it was a bit of a disaster. Everything was cut to perfection, but because the souls reduced, it was too strong. Oh, damn. Sorry to hear that. Right. Okay. Here he comes. Right. Target down. Let's get him. Bury the light deep within. Cast aside. There's no coming home. We're burning. Chaos in the wind. Drifting in the ocean. All alone. I might have another... Good to... Oh, yeah. Might have another good tomorrow. Sounds good. Give it a shot. Right. We want comms. Surface access. What's going on? Lights have cut. Lights have cut. Everyone wants you to do a karaoke stream. You want a karaoke stream? Only if I can bring Suki on. She has a, she has a nice singing voice. I don't. Squad leaders give sit rep. Over. Squad, squad leaders sit rep immediately. Hey, Marine HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down and so much. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Question, guys. Help me out here. Audio balancing. How does it sound? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Do I need to make some adjustments? Do let me know. Because audio balancing a first person shooter is not easy. They are coming through the walls. Not out of the walls, through the walls. But yeah, let me know if I need to adjust anything. Code red. That's the serious one. The serious one that causes trouble. We don't like code reds. Right. Got him. All right. Get back. Keep that hand where I can see it. All right, good. Let's do this. Extend the service bridge. Warning. Warning. Oh, this is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. Bridge in position. Let me sit up. And we'll carry on. Because I don't want to be slouched while I play. All right. Oh god. Dude's be shooting at us. They are definitely opening fire. Come on, bring it. Bring it on. Got him. Right. Are you singing Take Me Home Country Road, Jonathan? Hi, fella. 
such enthusiasm. To the place I belong, West Virginia. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I do appreciate the rendition. Right, PDA secured. We can get out of here. Is this game part of the Doom franchise? Certainly is. It's Doom 3. It's the one that came before Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, Orion. So what about Steve Bloom? Oh yeah, he plays a lot of supporting voice roles in this game. A lot of the Marines near the beginning and that kind of thing. You'll hear him a lot. Anyway, to finish off, The Devil's Cry. Now I'm done. Very good. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over at Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. Hold on. Wait there. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm actually scrolling back up to what Suki said. Let me open this door, and I'm gonna read back. There's something there. Wait there. No, no, no. No. Damn it. Distractions occurred. And it got, and it got, a, it got somebody killed. Right. Bless me with the leaf of the tree. On it, I see the freedom rain. We are falling, the light is calling. Tears inside me, calm me down, calm down. Midnight calling, mist of resolving. Crown me with the pure green leaf. Praise to my father, blessed by the water. Black night, dark sky. This is Devil May Cry 3 stuff. It's Devil May Cry 3. Um, I can never unhear Spike's voice when I hear him. Yes, I prefer the English dub. Well, you were singing. I couldn't let you have all the fun. I am great friends with Borat. I am. Oh, God. No. Got him. Right. Ooh, look. I'm jumping at shadows. Oh my god, I actually flinched. Shotgun. Got him. Let's reload this bad boy. Med pack there. Armor shard. More armor shards. I'm sure the shells down here. I could have sworn the shotgun shells. Unless it's my imagination. For a second I thought those were zombies wearing head crabs. No, they are demonically possessed people. This are shambling asses like zombies. At least that's my approximation of them. Is there definitely no shells down here? Now that's a med kit. Definitely no shells. My back is screaming at me. Well, maybe... Hmm. How does one deal with a screaming back? Have you got any over-the-counter painkillers? Those will sometimes take the edge off. Oh god. That's not good. Lights are flickering. 
Lights are flickering. Is there another one in here somewhere? Must be my imagination. Right, we'll take that armor shard. We're doing fairly well, all things considered. Too bad, no crowbar. Yes, we have to use our fists if we run out of ammo. That's not a pleasant experience, I wouldn't recommend it. Good. Shells. Hi, fellas. What's going on, guys? Down we go. Can you guys still hear my my voice over the shooting? Can you still hear alright? Right. Okay, lock and load, baby. Lock and load. Coming out of the walls. That's a freaking aliens reference if I've ever heard one. Right. Okay. Hello, Mr. Wow, somebody glitched. Somebody glitched very, very clearly. Description of crowbar. Perfect for, cra for prying off crabs. The walking dead saints and sinners. That's a very apt description. Got him. Lock and load. More ammo. Right. Better save some ammo. Can't afford to waste it all. Whole clip nearly. Hi, him. Oh. Oh, shit. We took some damage there. Oof. Right. Click on the light. Shells. When I get back home, I might play some Minecraft. Sounds like a good idea, Orion. You totally should, my dude. I would recommend it. It's not my game of choice, but if you enjoy it, go ahead and play it. That's not promising. That's very unpromising, in fact. People getting splattered over wolf. Oof. Got him. Oof. Shotgun wheel is a lethal. Still coming. Good God, 62 HP. This game looks more serious than the other Doom. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's a lot darker, both in setting, aesthetic. Oh yeah, both in setting and aesthetic, and um, also physically, they play on the horror edge. It really is a lot more horror focused. It's a lot more horror focused and. and Exactly as you said, a lot more serious. Oof. Right, let me find my bearings. That door's sealed, I think. Yep, that one's sealed. We can't go back. Okay. Right. Oof. Bloody him. Get him. 
and this game right here, Doom 3, is the is the inspiration or was the um was the game that the Doom movie with The Rock and Carl Urban took a lot of inspiration from. Oh god. Oh fuck. I'm getting leathered. Nope, 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 nope. Nearly dead. Twat! Oh, my poor fucking health bar. Oh, my poor health. Situation critical. I don't really care for the Doom series. I think it's okay. Not really something I would play. Well, if it's not something you would play, my dude, then at least let me entertain you by playing it for you. I'll do that. This is Grant Baston. Your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky. So we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. But it's okay, I'm happy to watch you stream it. And Snake says, yes, I agree. Yeah, have you guys ever had one of those games where... You wouldn't play it yourself, but you're happy to watch other people play it. For me, that game is actually near near um near automata or near automata, however you want to pronounce it. I personally wouldn't really play it myself. I wouldn't be that into playing it, but I really, really, really enjoyed watching Suki play it. We sat down and played it together once. Right. And there's uh, another message we need to get. Emails. Grant Baston. Updated security code. November security update for your area underground maintenance has been updated. Please update the cabinet oh, security cabinet code. In the energy stabilization unit to 531. That game for me um, really is GTA San Andreas. Interesting. Because I know that's, that was quite a big stable on, a staple on my channel when we first started streaming. Like a big staple. Like. <coughs> Sorry, water. It's um Yeah, we we didn't we pretty much played nothing but GTA San Andreas from September to October of last year. <coughs> Sorry, water went down the wrong way. Oh god. Or oh, it irritated my throat slightly, made me cough. Dude, Automata is um practically a hack and slash. You'd like it if you played it, I'd put my money on it. I'll take your word for it, dude. I'll take your word for it. Right, let's get this cabinet open. One, five, three, one. Health? Oh, better than nothing. Fucking hell. My poor health bar. Any more nasty shocks and we are fucked. Actually, no, we're gonna have to backtrack. We're gonna have to backtrack because there's some excess health packs further back in the facility. And given the amount of health we have left, I am not going to leave them unattended. Ooh, extra shells. Perfect. Right. Okay, we're just backtracking for um, some reserve healing that we left behind. At least I think we are. Bloody hell, Silver. Got to go now. See you next time. No problem, Orion. You take care. I'll still be around. Thanks for stopping in, my dude. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the show.
that cabinet's busted. Um, that's just a regular clip. I think there's an excess medipack. Um, it it wouldn't have we wouldn't be in this position if I hadn't have allowed myself to get absolutely leathered by that guard. But, um, that's on me. That's on me for being stupid. Because it's me. Could have sworn there was another spare one. Okay, this is random, but my PC refuses to let me use Chrome. So now I have to use Opera GX because I'd rather use that than anything else. I've never used. I don't. I personally don't like Chrome. That's just me. I've never used it. How is it as a browser, generally speaking? Med pack. Nope, that's a freaking clip. I mistook a clip for a med pack. That's great. There's got to be. Ah, uh, there'll be a spare one down here. I'm sure there is. God. There we go. Oh, thank God. Right, we're back in the. Um, it's cool, I guess. I never use Chrome. Not keen on it. Um, I use Firefox. I prefer Firefox, but that's just me. Alright. That dude is at a rough night. Hey, guys, guys. Suki will attest to this if she's still in chat. Chrome is the MVP. Totally abandoned Firefox for it. My only issue with Chrome is that they're really, really touch and go in terms of their data privacy policy and how they use your information. And I don't want any of my friggin' logins or personal details in regards to the channel or my YouTube stuff being friggin' farmed out to third parties. That dude there, right here, Suki will attest to this if she can see him right now. That's me if I don't have my curry fix at least once every couple of weeks. That's the curry fix. BPM, bro. Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you. Right. Can't get through there. There's all these screams echoing throughout the facility. He has one. Indeed. Indeed. Like I said, way ahead of you. Alright. We might, as soon as we've left the first part of the facility, drop a save. Because I don't want to risk screwing this up. We'll have to go quite a ways back if we die. Sounds like he's having a rough night, Jesus. Yeah, I must admit I'm loyal to Firefox despite its flaws. Ow! Why is the back of one of my teeth just twinging? I brushed my teeth earlier. Youch. God, this game is dark without the flashlight. Four units. This is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. Repeat, we have negative ID on the assailant force. They're mean SOBs. If you don't have a clear path back to HQ, stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay. Not taking any risks with that. That was a bit dodgy. Oh, bloody in. Ah, my health is fucked again. That's not good. Yeah, we really we allowed ourselves to get freaking spanked earlier by that guard, and it has really fucked us over, grand. Oh dear. Ooh. Yeah, you know that that's the ridiculous thing. We're golden for armor. We're golden for ammunition. Ooh. But our health is. Before we continue this funeral, 
Let's take a minute to thank our sponsor, NordVPN. Oh, God. Dude, it wouldn't surprise... Seriously, as dark as that sounds, it wouldn't surprise me if NordVPN started sponsoring funerals. Do you want your... Do you want your grandmother's funeral to be conducted privately? Secure your grandmother's funeral today with NordVPN. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Where does that throw me back? Where does that throw me back? All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. Shit. We've been thrown back about 20 minutes. Oh, We're under attack by an unknown enemy. This is not good. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. Should have saved. That's why you save. We're gonna have to rush through. Say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. That was on me. Right. I'm One just going to try and rush back rest. considering we died. And then as soon as we get back to where we were, I'm saving manually. Not waiting on the auto save. Because the auto saves are really sparse on this. But you've been an older first person shooter. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. One of the biggest mo uh, mobile role playing games of 2019. And it's totally. God. I swear. I get fucking fed up. Of YouTubers been sponsored by NordVPN, Raid Shadow Legends, or Squarespace. It's, it's ridiculous. Did you hear Steve Bloom there over the radio, Snake? Okay, let's go back. Let's do this right. Oh, bloody hell. Jump. Let's hurry this up. Hurry this up. Spike over the radio. Indeed. Indeed. Be gone. Be gone, hand. Be gone. We do not need your handy s- oh. Well, that came in handy. Clipmania! After a long time, hello and how are you doing, Silver? How are you, Clipmania? I am good, thank you. We're playing Doom tonight. You know, for a minute, I thought those soldiers pretty much had hit scan, but no, you can strafe them. You can strafe them. Cur currently, almost 10 million users have joined Raid over the last six months. Oh my god, it's um, it's too much. It's really too much. We saved him that time. Loki. Saved him that time. Come on, fella. Good. We're back where the shotgun is. And you know what? We're not taking any risks. 
We're going to save over my test save from before, when we were just playing earlier for the fun of it. So if we die, we'll end up back here, at least. Right, we need to get a shotgun back in the armour. Got him. Right. Save that for later, we might need it. There's one down here. Are there some spare shells kicking about? Um, currently with over 300,000 reviews, Raid has almost perfect score on Play Store. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's only one, right, seriously. From all the nice things that people have been saying about it, and the few little things that I've been I've been seeing of it. If I was ever to get big enough where I'd have a sponsor, do you know what I would seriously consider having sponsoring me? Suki. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Genshin Impact, the new game that came out. That got my attention. That looks good. And that is probably going to be played on stream at some point very soon. Did you s Shells. That new, that new RPG you're playing. Yeah. I was just talking about if I ever got big enough to have a sponsor. That new, that new Genshin Impact game looks like something I would ask to sponsor me. From a few little clip, or, for, or from a few little clips I've seen of it, and some of the stuff about the art style that I saw online earlier, that really does look good. Got him. Twat. Right. Is there another one there? Right, okay. Good. You came out of freaking nowhere, dude. Got him. Ah, shells in here. Hold on, I just need to scratch my back. Um, go to the video descriptions, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and free epic champion as part of your new player program to start your journey. Good luck and I'll see you there. Only one of the reasons why Raid has such good reviews... Um, is that true, Jonathan? That one of the only reasons Raid has such good reviews is if you give it a negative score, they can forcibly change it to positive. Is that true? That they, that they can actually force review scores to be changed? Because that's dodgy as all fuck, if that's true. Yeah, we're going to keep taking cautionary saves until the next auto save kicks in. Because I'm not taking risks here. That and we've got at least another hour before we stop, so, you know. Yeah. It's looking about right. Somebody glitched. Now, now time for I Want That Way Part 2. Oh god. I have known other companies to do so. It wouldn't surprise me if they also did. They're apparently coming through a portal. Bloody imp. Down, boy, down. Right. Oh, he was right on top of us. He wanted to fuck us by the looks of it. Hi, fella. 
bloody him. That was too much ammo wasted. In the chamber. Slam him in. Still got 37 on it. Come on, Sylvie, you need to save Zelda. This must be the weirdest looking Zelda playthrough to you, my dude. Seriously. Right, we're almost back where we were. Before that guard absolutely dick whipped us. Better improvements. Significant improvements. Right, let me sit up. Right. Tell me why I ain't nothing but a. Oh, God. Don't sing that. Don't sing those lyrics in chat. You'll summon Suki almost immediately. If you start singing I Want It That Way, she's. She's she's morally, and I almost wonder, legally obligated to sing the full chorus. And I will probably start singing along with her, so... You are opening Pandora's box, my dude. Bloody him. With your, with your lunging like a dick biscuit. Spawned right behind me, a camping bastard. Right. Okay, we don't need the PDF again. We got the combination. Right. All right. Five. Three. One. Excellent. Right. We are pretty much set. Drop another save. Cautionary, of course. I'm too lazy to copy and paste a three-minute song, but I will sing the real folk blues. Come by me if you want, dude. Don't mind. Down, boy, down. Bad imp, you're getting way excited. Does anybody else like the Doom movie with Carl Urban and the rock in it? I really love that movie, so does my sister. Oof, that bloody imp just caught me off guard. Right, we're back where we needed to be. We're back where we were before we died. Never seen it. Oh my god, Jonathan. You can pick it up on DVD or Blu-ray for like a tenner? Seriously. It's a recommendation from your Uncle Silver. Go pick up the Doom movie with The Rock and Carl Urban. And watch it. My dude, it is so good. We've been shafted. Fire team two. The monorail track is destroyed. Unable to secure safe transportation back to base. Over. There's Spike again. Fire team two. Fall back to the station and set up a CP there. Out. Oh, we just tanked that hit like a boss. I wish I had a tanner. Ah, uh, you a bit short right now, my dude. I do apologize. He's not getting back up. Right. Shells. Okay. Right, medical dispenser. Shorter than a German. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm not repeating that in chat. But yes, I imagine that would be quite short. If a little derogatory, my dude. Please do be kind. Short people can't help being short. Okay. Garage access not authorized. Airlocks not authorized. Maintenance. 
Maintenance access, storage, unlocked. And then we want to entrance lockers, locker 2, unlocked. Then security checkpoint, unlocked. Systems online. Got him. All these possessed soldiers everywhere. Right. Watching tomorrow with one eye while keeping the other on yesterday. If only I could peacefully sleep in the cradle of your love. Again, someone cry for me with parched eyes. Is a phrase from my local area. I mean no disrespect. Nah, dude, you're alright. You're alright. It's all good. You're alright. I have a very, um, I have a very dark sense of humor at times as well. It comes with, um, it comes with having a muscular condition. It really does. I have been known to have quite the dark sense of humor. And I mean a very dark sense of humor. Ooh, we've been going for over an hour. Could I ask you awesome people to consider leaving a like if you're enjoying this? And we're going to keep going for a bit longer. Would really appreciate it, my awesome dudes. Ah. Ooh, fourth like. Thank you. Scanners offline. Everything's broken. People trying to kill us at every corner. It's your average day in Doom. Can I just say as well it's a real pleasure to have you in, Snake? Because for like a month you weren't here and I was getting worried about you. All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Excuse me, fella. Bit enthusiastic. Guys, at last, are you ready? Check it out. Health. Weaponry. Something substantial. We're going automatic. Lock and load. It's like fucking poetry. Excellent. Finally, a machine gun. No iron sights, but a machine gun. I'll take what I can get. Right. I don't reckon we can get over there. Alright. Full health, good armor. Mars sub level access, maintenance access, storage unlocked. All right, I think we're in the clear. I think we are in the clear, my dudes. Hmm. Hmm. And possibly going the wrong way. Okay. All right, we're good. Transfer back to the other half of the building. The real folk blues, I only want to know what true sadness is sitting in the muddy water. This isn't such a bad way for you. All to... remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Down he goes. 
those eyes. Somebody's had a rough day. Okay. Hmm. Hey you. Up here. Quickly. Will do. Are you ready for some more fine, fine discussion with Spike? Because, uh, yes, um, Steve Bloom voices a lot of people in this game. Yeah, a lot of people. It's like, oh yeah, half the, um, half the side characters? Well, yeah, be prepared for Spike. Be prepared for Mr. Spike. I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. Okay. My love innocent, my love is pure. I saw an angel for that, I am sure. She was sitting on the subway. She was with another man. But I know what to do, for I have a plan. Are we getting all, um, is that song lyrics again? Or are we getting all poetic in here, gentlemen? Is this becoming a poetic one? Because I'm, um, always partial to a bit of poetic expression. Indeed, I am. Jeff. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Given doom, it's probably not going to be good stuff in a ventilation shaft. <laughs> shaft, it's funny. Right. Hmm. Investigation is transpiring. Very good. Oof. We were so close to being surrounded there. Well, he's dead at least. He's not getting back up. I feel like we've got full ammo capacity. Right. Oh. Oof. He's had a rough night. He needs to get his head in the game. <laughs> it's funny because lesbians. Ah, oh, I remember that one. I remember that one. That's from an old stream, isn't it, gentlemen? That is from an old stream. Okay. That is from a very old stream. Right, let's drop another cautionary save. Purely a cautionary save, of course. We've been going for 47 minutes of game time already, plus the previous death. No. Yeah, we're not gonna waste a full large heal on a ten on a ten, you know, damage. Oof. Right, let me reload. Then I'm just gonna go I'll be gone for just a second to get some water and then I'll be right back. Oh, we'll see. Give me a minute, we'll see. Gonna have to save some ammo. Back to the shotgun. Shotgun's well loaded. No shortage of L shotgun. That's sealed. Click to scan ACD access card. Okay. Can I have a thumbs up in chat if you guys are enjoying the show? Still, please? Would really appreciate your support. Mars Delta Labs. Superior firepower. Hmm. Can't be superior firepower. We'll um, we'll stand back and be careful for a minute. Don't know what's gonna pop up. It's all a mystery. A large mystery. Thank you, Mr. Jonathan. And I do apologise if I kept you up, my dude. If you were about to go to sleep, or could you um, or did you really want to be entertained this evening? Was that your plan of action? Even though we are playing a first person shooter this evening.
suddenly feeling a bit toasty. Have I got any water left? Yeah, we have a drop. Probably have enough for about two more sips left. Then I'll have to get some more. That's not good. He followed us. Okay, we got the ACD card. That was quicker than I expected. Got a lot of ammo as well. Was there a machine gun on that desk? Was it practically reloaded? Strange. Alrighty. Hmm. Hmm. Anything on these computers? Nope. The station is apparently locked. Manage, you. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Move to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. Those radios sound a bit eerie, don't they? Right, let's get this door open. Two of them. All right. Now, oh, we've used the have we used the full heal already? No, it's there. We'll take it. Right. Good. Now then, PDF. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue and. That one. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 21-45. I've fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling we adjustment, left the PDF behind. I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience... That's the BDF stories we need. I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off. The mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Really, Snake? I just got a raid ad on a Markiplier stream. That's not even funny. That's just creepy. That's just creepy at this point. I mean, I won't I won't get ads because I don't tend to go on YouTube through phone. And I have ad blocker. So, yeah. Right. There's a, another PDF entry from Marcus Stanton. This is Mark Stanton. Manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the manifest controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest, but whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. That dude takes his job very seriously. Would you believe? Chainsaws. These morons at Mixum have done it again. I requisitioned a crate of jackhammers. What we... What we got was several crates of chainsaws. No jackhammers at all. What the hell were they thinking? Chainsaws serve no purpose on Mars. I'm sending these back as soon as I get the time. 
Meanwhile, I would appreciate it if you could lodge another complaint with Mixum and expedite my jackhammers when they arrive. Farewell for now. Hold on. That's fluff. Right. One minute. I'm seeing if there's anything worthwhile. It's just talking between two guys. Okay. Right, let's keep going then. Did we just get shot? No, I don't think we did. But that, um, that sentry bot certainly did a number on those possessed guards. It's like, hey, y'all. And they're like, nah. Oh, dear. Now... I haven't actually been... Oh, bloody hell. We just got smacked in the back. My poor health bar. Oof. That made me jump. Luckily there's a med kit there. Need to keep that shotgun handy. Alright. You know, I think we'll take this for maybe another half hour. Maybe an hour if you guys are particularly enjoying it. And then if more people want more Doom, I'll bring you more in future. Did he just do a very inappropriate salute? I hope he didn't. Yeah, if you guys want more Doom, I'll bring you more in future. Otherwise, it's going to be more Bloodborne. So it's totally up to you fellas what you fancy. Wow. Wow, how is he moving? He's missing something very essential. Do you not see it? Something very essential is missing. No chance of getting a headshot there. Oof. Damn it, that was creepy. That vent cover's not open. <laughs> Snake's like, uh... Yeah, I was concerned by that as well, Mr. Snake. But yeah, if you guys want more Doom, let me know, and we'll stream more Doom. But if not, we'll go and do some Bloodborne. This is not how the Mafia works, Lisa. That's what happens in Doom. Demons don't need heads. I figured that out. How you doing, Lisa? Nice to see you. He's had a rough night as well, but I think he's over it. Definitely is now. Um, right. Nothing else to pick up in here, I don't think. We'll check the area, though. You never know. Got to be careful as well. It's dark in here. There's no light. Bloody flanking maneuver. Fellas. God, you tanked a few fucking hits. I had a rough night. What's going on, my dude? Tell your Uncle Silver all about it while we play a bit of Doom. Alright, that's sealed. That was full of possessed guards. Oh, we, um... We appear to have broken the IT. That was a shame. And not intentional. I just thought of a very dirty thing about not having a head. Oh dear, I'm not even going to ask. It might be a bit too impure for my um slightly um old fashioned mind. I mean yes I'm only in my twenties, but in some ways I'm in some ways I'm very, very open minded and in some ways I'm very, very old fashioned. 
well, you know, a bit more, should we use the word quiet and shy and reserved? Well, in, in some ways, but not, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling now. T04 in red, T04 in blue. Hmm. Basically, you know. I don't want to imagine what you might have been thinking in connotation to missing a head, given the way you worded it. I just could not sleep. Well, at the very least, I do hope I can provide some ad adequate entertainment for you if you couldn't sleep. And, yeah, we'll keep going for a bit longer. But, yeah, would you guys like more Doom on Wednesday? Or would you like more Bloodborne? Let me know, and I'll work off what you guys are after. I'm not going to use a large health pack. For two. Wow. He was burning with excitement. <laughs> yes, I've got a hell for jokes like that. I'm well aware. I'm well aware. I feel like we need to save. I have a bad feeling. And I'd be up for Doom. Well, if you want more Doom, you shall get more Doom. I'll bring you some more. My pleasure. We'll have a few Doom streams just to space things out before I go back to Bloodborne. That's fine. Don't mind. This was last night, by the way. You feeling any better now, um, Lisa? And Lisa says Doom. Looks like we've had our decision made. Sorry, just grabbing a bit of water. I'm running out. Thank you for stopping in so far, guys. We'll go for a bit longer. I'm going to have to adjust the cushion behind my back, though, because I'm kind of slouching. And that's never helpful for your neck or your posture when you're streaming. Not one bit. <laughs> All right. Oh god. One minute. Let me get things together. I mean, I'm half asleep, but fine. Well, in that case, let my voice and the sounds of gunfire lull you to sleep. It. Bring it in. Yeah. Down we go. We're also playing on Veteran, which is a harder difficulty as well, so a bit more challenge for us here. Which is just what I wanted. Bloody help. Oof. No iron sights. It was 2004, I suppose. Is he carrying a wrench? Now apparently has half his face missing. Oh, what a shame. That gun reminds me of Halo. The one I'm carrying? Oh yeah, it's. Um, I can see why. It looks like the Marine Assault Rifle, doesn't it? From um, Halo. The basic one you'd get. I liked that one. I missed it when they kind of, um, you know, they made it a bit, it was a bit rarer in Halo 2, wasn't it? I mean, I've only played Halo 1 and Halo 2, so I'm not very well versed. Halo 2 was amazing. Halo 1 was a bit scary with the flood. Right. Yeah, just handgun clips. Reload. Two of them. Come on, fellas. Oh, you dick biscuit! Oh, somebody got a bit too enthusiastic there. Somebody was a grade A fucking dick biscuit there. Oh dear. There we go. Good job. See, it paid off leaving that health in reserve. What are you doing here? Yeah. Okay. Shotgun needs to come out. It's definitely been the workhorse. 
upright. We better keep it together. We don't know what's going to be in here. Infirmary supplies. Mm hmm. Hmm. They can lay down. Holy shit. Oh, they can lay down, Lisa. Hold on, wait there. Hi, it's Callie. Callie, Callie, Callie. Jog my memory. Jog my memory. Remind me. If you're a if you're a regular, do remind me because um my memory has been a bit hazy and can be a bit hazy or has been a bit hazy from time to time. Or yeah, has been a bit hazy. And also can be. But yeah, welcome Callie, welcome. Right. Where is the PDF? Resident Evil 6. Oh, God. Oh, like last year? Like near Christmas? Were you in some of our Resident Evil streams? Oh, if you were, then, um... Then welcome back, I suppose, you know? Oh, hello! Welcome. Welcome. I would say my name is Silver and I am your host, but you obviously remember me. So, um, welcome back. Welcome back. Pull up a seat. Be awesome. We're playing Doom tonight. Oh god, he's up. That's not good. Oh god, that's not... Bloody hell. That wasn't pleasant. God. Oh god, don't you dare sh Fucking fuck. Get the automatic out. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Well, um, yeah, if you're a regular, then welcome back, Callie. I'm, um, I'm sorry you slipped my mind. It's very rare that that happens. Very rare indeed. That's a very stable blood pressure. 117 over 63. Very stable blood pressure. Okay. Yeah, welcome back. It's um it's good to see you again. We've um if it, if it was last year when you were last here, then we've um we've grown a lot as a channel since you were here. Like a lot, a lot since you were last here. Like we've um we've met a lot more people, we've got a lot more regulars, we stream a lot more stuff. So yeah. Mark Kaysen. Hi in High incidence of psychological Audio log for Dr. Kaysen, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in Medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, a number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. The two we have are being overworked, and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well. Dr. Casey and out. Okay, second one. Patient attack. Let's have a list. Dr. Mark Casey, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, 
He managed to carve three symbols in his arm, and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Dr. Three, Casey four, seven. Right, Righty, what's been going on? It's fine. But more people means more trolls, so we now have mods. Yep. In growing larger as a channel, we have had our fair share of trolls pop up over the passing months so we now have a we now have a few mods to keep things in check I have chosen a few mods you're seeing one of them you're seeing one of them now Mr. Snake um, we also have Jin and our lovely our lovely lady Suki so yeah we have mods Guy Lucas. Lucas, I'm totally lost as to what you mean, my dude. I'm gonna keep playing. God, what was that combination again? Oh, it was. 637? I think it will. Oh, I'm gonna have to check it again. Audio log for Dr. Cassian, currently stationed at Mars City. Dr. Mark Casian, at 1547, patient Jonathan listen Wills to it again. was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room 5. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after 4, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. 347. 347. Okay, let's crack it. 347. Good. Oh, shells, reserve armor, and a large med kit. We're going to save those for a rainy day. Slam the healing. God, that is some pixel perfect blood pressure our marine has got. 117 over 63? That's lower than mine. I mean, the last time I had mine checked. God, the last time I had mine checked, it was like, um. Oh god. Yeah, I think the last time I had mine checked, it was like 100 and. It was like 117 over 89 or something. Probably like a yeah, it was around like 117, 118 over 89. The lower value was a bit higher than normal. My my average blood pressure is about 123 over about 76, which is not bad. I have to keep an eye on blood pressure because it has been known to run in the family. So. I think it skips some and gets others, but we'll see. Lucas from Fahrenheit, the guy that cuts symbols into his arm. Ah, yeah, Fahrenheit. Hey, Snake, do you remember how successful that Fahrenheit live stream was? Oh, my God. The live stream that never got off the ground because YouTube, YouTube shut it down. But, yeah, how have you been, Callie? If you've, um... If you've been gone for a while and you used to be one of our regulars... How has everything been going for you since you were last here? Speak to your Uncle Silver. Do let me know. You're looking shifty. Don't trust you. Right. Pop a shell. Oh, God. Bloody hell. 
should I call that enthusiasm? Because I'm mildly concerned. Well, no, I'm beyond mildly concerned. That is um, that is a cause of legitimate concern. Um, shit. Yeah, that was bad. That was genuinely bad. Okay, right. Is that an injector of some <sighs> adrenaline? Well, it bloody works. Is that what adrenaline is? I'm kind of clueless in that regard. Hey fella, how you doing? Chilling over there. They've all had a rough night round here. It seems we're kind of trapped. I'm not taking any risk of having bodies getting back up. Oh God! What did the guard do to deserve that treatment? But yeah, if it's been a while, Callie, do feel free to chat with us. Let us know what's been going on in the time you've been away, and I'm I'm happy to welcome you back. Hmm. Hmm. Could I ask you all some people to leave a like if you're enjoying the show? Connection established. Marine. I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marines. Seems like we've lost most of our Marines. Damn, that's not good. Maybe this will do it, asking you for a request on PS3. I'm currently not adding people, either on PlayStation or on the community Discord right now, because you've had a lot of trolls. And that's um, that's not set to change, unfortunately, because Snake will tell you, as one of my mods, we've had a few issues over recent months, haven't we? And since then, I've had to um, restrict access to the community Discord, and I've also stopped accepting requests from people I don't already, you know, know outside of YouTube. On PlayStation Network. So I'm going to have to politely decline on that one. But uh, thanks for asking all the same. Right. Shit. Um. Or Resident Evil 4. Well we, we will be streaming more Resident Evil at some point. It's just, um, and again, Snake will tell you, we've, um, we've been streaming a lot of Resident Evil recently. So I decided to take a bit of a break from Resident Evil because all we were doing for nearly two months was streaming Resident Evil on and off. There's an access code for weapon storage. Oh shit, we can't leave that behind. Is there another PDF entry for that? Audio log for Dr. Casey. Currently state. What? I missed it. Yeah, we've we've been streaming. While you were away, we streamed a lot of Resident Evil, 
like a lot. We even streamed Resident Evil 4 a little bit, and um, now we've um, we're taking a break from Resident Evil because we streamed so much of it. But yeah, we streamed quite a bit while you were away. I'm sorry, but you did miss it. I apologize. Honestly, if we stream more Resident Evil at any point, it's either going to be Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil 7. Shit. Um, where do we go from here? Oh, no, that's not good. That was an experience. Oh, I do apologize, Callie. I do apologize. Somebody's eager to see us. Steady there, guys. Steady. Talk about full auto. Yeah, I, I won't be streaming Resident Evil 6 again. But if I do stream more Resident Evil, it will either be 7 or 4. Let's see Infirmary again. There's got to be a PDF code around here that I've missed. There must be. Hmm. Yeah, there has to be. That looks like it'll kill us if we go through there. Can we crouch under it? We can. Good. Sealed. Sealed. Poor guard. Mars Delta Labs leading the way. UAC Union Aerospace. Bill. Is that Triton or something? Uh, so we have to crouch under here. Red card there. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you for giving us the heads up. I'm stunned there are still seven of you watching. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Like I said, if you've enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like. And we'll go for a teensy weensy bit longer. Since you guys are enjoying it and Callie's also here. Bill Tyson. That's his name. General Troop Morale. Audio report on Troop Morale. Morale here is beginning to drop. It's nothing to worry about yet since I keep my Marines sharp and ready to go. But events at the base are wearing on the troops. There have been a lot of things happening here on the base. I believe the UAC experiments being performed here must be the cause. Out here, they could be experimenting on God knows what. There are quite a few people missing. And no Marines, of course. It's the civilian population I am referring to. Bottom line, whatever it is they have going on here has my men on a racer's edge. At this point, there is no cause for alarm, but I am requesting we rotate squads every 90 days instead of every 180. I will continue to report as the situation develops. It is right. good we have the new Marines en route. Fresh faces will help. Sergeant Tyson, out. Right. I want to make a point. Every PDF that we listen to is talking about how things have been poorly run, staff are tired and exhausted, people are disappearing, people are edgy, you know, just worn out, jumping at shadows. Civilians are tired, staff are tired, the guards are tired, engineering are tired, everyone's overworked and stressed and not getting enough assistance, and there's just shit going on, which is not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. But hey. <laughs> welcome to corporates in general. Or working for a massive company. Now we're going to head back. We need to crack open that armory first. Oh no, no. It might be, um. Give me a minute. Troop deployments. Audio report confirming new troop deployments for the Mars City Marine Facility, October 30th, 2145. The new troops will be arriving within a few days. 
I've started a series of training exercises focusing on close quarters small weapons combat, as well as instituting mandatory refresher courses on all munitions and weapons in our armory. In response to the large number of security breaches and general feelings of ill will around the base, I've doubled security details, placing two Marines at each checkpoint. This additional presence should help calm things down. I expect that the incoming Marines are not quite as green as the last deployment. They've turned out okay, but some combat experience will go a long way right now. Sergeant Tyson, out. Unless... Unless... Hmm. Is it in an email message, maybe? Hold on. Yes, it is. Code change. Due to the upcoming personnel transfer, we will be changing the weapon storage code in Marine Command to 584. 15th November 2145. Okay. 584. Okay. Let's get it cracked open. Yes, there we have it. Good God, when they say it's a bloody armory in here, they're not kidding. Right. Take a shotgun. Fresh armor. Oof, guys. We are being spoiled. So many bullets, I don't know what to do with them all. Nice, that machine gun's not going to run short anytime soon. I'm not taking a large heal for one health. That's wasteful. That's genuinely wasteful. Alright, um... Seems like all these marines have, um... Definitely bit the bullet, sadly. Um, okay. We'll go back into the infirmary. No, that's the daughter marine HQ. It's jammed. Um... Yeah, everything's kind of a mess around here. Yep, everything is kind of a mess. Putting it mildly. Which way did we come in? Good, infirmary. There's so much healing stuff around here that, um... You could shake a stick at it. Be right back. No problem, Callie. I'll still be here. I'll still be here to heal one health that way. All that effort to heal one health. Ah, we still have two large healing packs scattered around, so that's fine. That is definitely alright. Okay. Right. We'll keep moving. Just for a few minutes longer and then we'll wind down. Because we've been going for about two hours. And this is like a Sunday stream, so... They're a bit more chilled out and laid back. It's not going to be a three hour long mega session. I don't have the energy for it. But uh, if you guys want more Doom... I'll bring you more Doom on Wednesday. So yeah. If we can find the bloody direction we need to go in. Does he have an iPod? No, he, that's a PDF he's carrying, dude. It's a PDF. Alright. Drop save. Good. Oh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna reload that fucking good pasting we received. Oof, that was too much damage. We need the shotgun. We need the shotgun.
Oof. Those are leathering. Looks like a rip-off iPod, but better. There's a leathering, and then there's a fucking pasting with an automatic weapon. Painful. Back. No problem, Callie, no problem. Whoa, shit, where? I heard horrible gurgling death sounds. Nobody likes horrible gurgling death sounds. Pistol damage. Ooh. I'm gonna go. See ya. No problem, my dude. We're finishing in the next few minutes anyway. We're finishing in the next few minutes. So I'm gonna... Yeah, we'll be winding down in a few. I also hurt my wrist and it's in a brace. You alright? Is everything okay? I do hope everything's alright, Callie. More shells. Shit. Oof. Yeah. Well, as long as you are alright. As long as you are alright. And you... Need to stay down. It hurts, though. Keep it steady and hold it still, alright? That fucking fuck. We are lucky that it didn't turn out way worse than it did. Talk about an ass kicking. A royal ass kicking. Marine, if you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. Oh, I will. Oh, turkey punch is not working. Turkey punch is broken. I'm really sad. Turkey punch is broken. My world has ended. So sad. No turkey puncher. Fire extinguisher. E fire extinguisher. That's so fun. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being silly. Okay. Life is good now. Or is it? I shouldn't be wasting all this ammo. Right, okay. I'll stop. That is a horrendous waste of ammo. <laughs> Alright, good. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. Bloody hell, you would need psychological services working in here. Dear God. Yeah, none of that. Hey, he's helping us. Good lad. Now you wait there. Be a good boy. I'm talking to him like he's a dog. Be a good boy. Stay there. No. No sentry bot. You stay. Good sentry bot. Good sentry. We're gonna go and explore. Oh, fuck. Hi, fella. Oh, you're a big lad. He's a big fella. Seem to be um Okay, station locked. Is it a dog? No, it's an automatic sentry bot. You gotta get to Bravo too. But he's my friend. They need all the firepower I they like can get. him. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. 
Look, I'm doing it. I'm just exploring. Well, I would if the door wasn't busted. See, he's a good sentry bot. He's patrolling. I like him. I shall call him Dave and he will be my friend. Oh, okay. Yep. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Looks like there's nothing. Well, we'll double check. We'll double check just for the sake of double checking. That. Oh no, you can get in here. It's apparently busted. Talk about teasing. It's got armor in there. I think David is better. Yes, we'll call him David. We'll call him David. And he shall be our sentry bot friend. He shall. Go on, fella. Look at him go. Defending us from all life's evils. Been awesome and adorable and cute. Right. Yeah, these marines have had a bad time. That door's busted. Pack of punches, right? Holy. My God, what a team we make. Don't you break him. He's with me. He's my friend. Don't you break David. He is my friend. David the sentry bot. My true doom friend. Yay, shells. Alright. 78 health. We could do with a bit of a shot in the arm. But it's, um, nothing major, I don't think. Right, cautionary save. Seems to be our habit of the day. God, we've been playing for nearly two hours. Holy shit. Yes, more ammo, more health. Flashlight refilled. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, he's got it. He's got it down. Look at him go, he's wrecking. He's wrecking shop. He is legendary. My God. Dude just what a legend. David is keen on war. Oh yes. Did you see that? He just shredded. That was legendary. David the sentry bot. May his service be forever revered. I am saluting you Mr. Robot of Battle. That was legendary. Truly epic. Truly epic. Alrighty. So, yeah. Don't think there's anything else here, is there? We got good health. Plenty of ammo. Looking nice. Can you pick him up? Unfortunately not. But, um, hey. Hey, it's definitely been, um,. It's definitely been a good time with him, hasn't it? I might end up clipping that at some point. Depends on how I feel and if it's, um, you know. If I feel it's good enough once I've clipped it. In terms of the actual video quality. Because sometimes when I clip things, 
and then YouTube compresses them, the video footage can come out kind of, you know, a bit lower in terms of its quality. We'll see. But yeah, Dave the Sentry Bot. David, legendary. Looks like we're going to administration. Do I have to keep it still? Well, not entirely still, but just be careful not to hurt yourself, alright? Just don't hurt yourself, Callie. Be, be, be careful. Right. Make David join phase. David should join the amount of work he's put in. Excellent. Let's keep the shotgun handy. This place is trash. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. Plan B. Somebody's got a big fucking gun. I want one of the... They just jumped immediately. That kept me on my toes. Wasn't expecting that. Alright. TV? Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly TV time, guys. Phase one by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division. The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29th, 2095, and became fully operational July 17th, 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology such as the Elemental Phase Deconstructor, Hydrocon, and Molecular the Elemental Phase Deconstructor all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. Nice. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. TV's bulletproof. <laughs> TV's bulletproof. I did ask. You did ask, though. And I did try to oblige, but yeah. I almost said, I almost said I did ask them. You know what I mean. You did ask, but the TV is bulletproof. Right, that's broken. MIS operations, general access unlocked. Doors busted. Click to access. Access denied. Area secured through... Hold on. Where's it secured through? Terminal tree, data library. Damn, well... Yep, they were thinking ahead there. TV's bulletproof. Alright, we'll drop a save. I know I'm kind of saving compulsively now, but hey. Each to their own. Yes, more shells. Bring it. I hear more guards. Oh. Goodness me. That was a bracing encounter. Ooh. Ooh. Don't know how I feel about that. Fucking two of them. Well, you know, not literally enough. Fucking two of them, that would be wrong. 
You know, as in, oof. But, you know, there were fucking two of them. You know what I mean. Not fucking two of them. That would be wrong. Demon guards. Hmm. Health station. Well, um... Why does it sound like there's um there's a possessed dude wandering around here? I mean it's probably my imagination, but hey. You fucked two demons? No, no demons have received fuckings. Whoa. Bloody hell. Didn't see you coming. Down boy. Talk about enthusiasm. Alright. Okay. Updated PDF. Alan... Is that Alan Downer? Or something? I think we're in the clear. Alright. We'll check out the PDF. We'll check out the PDF. Alan Dorweiler. No audio log on file. Message only then. Armaments in the cabinet. Alan, per our earlier conversation, I've stocked the storage cabinet in your area with some ammunition and security armor. Shoot me in the notes. The door code is 586. I don't know what's going on around here, but we can't be too careful. I hope to God we never have to use this stuff. I'll, if I hear anything else, I'll email you, Ethan. So, hold on. That's either 566 or 586. I think that's 566. Okay. Oh no no, five, 586, because you can't put the same co number in twice. So yeah, it was 586, I was seeing it right. Sometimes a 6 can look like an 8 when you look at it from a certain... Well, yeah, sometimes a 6 can look like an 8 when they're nearby. They are very similar. 5, 8, 6. Healing and armor. And more gear. Downloading video. Um, there's a video file. Hi, Callie. What's up? Welcome back. We'll um, we'll pop that health, and then we'll um, check out this video file on the PDF. Alpha Labs introduction. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Or is it the um No they don't. Calm down. Marine Command Briefing. Welcome to Mars Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you. What's on the video files? Give me a sec, we'll check the PDF again. Uh, a whole stash? Unless it is the, um, the video log. Here we go. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Formerly designated Phase 1 by the Union Aerospace Offworld Research Division, 
The Alpha Labs began construction on October 29, 2095, and became fully operational. That's oh, the same July video 17, again. 2130. Originally created as the prime science and research facility, Alpha Labs are responsible for the development of leading edge technology such as the elemental phase deconstructor, hydrocon, and molecular fuel storage compressor, all presently being utilized right here in the Alpha Labs. These endeavors have allowed for much needed expansion into the UAC's current leading research facility, Delta Labs, where Union Aerospace is opening all new opportunities in research and development. With continued investment and hard work, the Union Aerospace Corporation strives for excellence and is committed to building a better tomorrow. Well, would you look at that? A better tomorrow. And all they did was, you know, almost destroy an entire research facility and potentially put the world at risk. Authorised personnel on file. Director William Banks. 63 science team. We can't get through there. It's sealed. We need security clearance. Gotta go see ya. No problem, Lisa. I'm stopping in the next sort of five minutes anyway. We're winding down now. We're pretty much done for the evening. Well. Fuck off with your leaping, jumping bullshit. Such poor behaviour. You know what, we might as well stock up. Grenades? Grenades? Apparently, it is grenades. Fair enough then. Okay, we have over a hundred shells, more than three hundred rounds of machine gun, five grenades, and a very well stocked pistol. I'd say we are solid on the ammo front. Zombie dude throwing things at me. Yeah, you know what? We'll go back into the main hallway where we're in the clear. And then we'll, um... Pretty much call it a... Call it a night, he would have said. But no. The game doesn't want me to call it a night. Well, I thought I was just going somewhere where it's safe. I know the game lobs even more demons at me, because of course it does. Well, um... Bloody hell. Freaking ambush. Oh, back off. Withdraw. Cheap bastard! We got wrecked! We got absolutely fucking wrecked! You know, and I thought we were just gonna... That was the right way to go. And we'd just come back in here and save the game and finish the stream. No, we've been... We've... We've... Uh, we've been absolutely wrecked. Like, we've been absolutely wrecked. And now we need to, um, go and find health. Yeah. Absolutely wrecked is definitely the word for it. Robo Cola. Beautiful. On the search for health packs. Good lord. B. 
try to keep it together. Am I the only one hearing shit? Oh! Oh! I'm here. Glad to, glad to hear. Glad to, you know. Oh god, I'm losing my nerve a bit now because our health's a bit low. This isn't good. Hello, Callie. Glad you're still here. We'll finish as soon as I've gotten. Oh my god. We just got a kicking. I'll finish as soon as we've got some more health. Jesus Christ. Like, Jesus Christ. Literally. Sorry, Lordship. I'm not taking your name in vain. Literally. If you could help me in this situation, Jesus Christ, I would really appreciate this. Could you, um. Could you help guide me towards some health? Furnish me with your. With your knowledge and whatnot. So I might find some health. So we don't die. Because we've gone from nearly full health to in a lot of trouble very quickly. Very quickly. We're going to have to go back to that health machine further back. I don't see any other way. Oh no, there's some there. Welcome to the Alpha Labs. Thank you for welcoming me to the Alpha Labs. Really helps. Considering I've just been uh, kicked around the room a bit. And became fully operational we'll go to the health terminal. And then we'll stop. Right. Not perfect, but it's better. Can we can we go backwards? No, that looks foreboding. Like genuinely foreboding. More armor, at least. We might as well just take it all. We've got some in reserve for later on if we um, end up getting screwed. And I figure we'll go back into the main hallway now. We'll um, drop a save. Excellent. Yeah, we've been playing for long enough. Alright, in that case, I'm going to head back to the main menu and we're going to wind down for a couple of minutes and if anybody wants to chat with me, they can do, but otherwise, I will be um, stopping the stream in exactly, well, about four or five minutes, so if anybody wants to chat, be my guest, and if not, and we'll see you in the next one very soon. How have you been? Me? I've been alright, Callie. I've been alright. It's, um... Not been too bad. You know, with the world going crazy and everything, I've not been too bad. I've just been, um... Trying to entertain people. And, um... You know... Bringing the... The channel to people. And kind of also bringing things under control on the channel because of, um, there have been a few trolls and things like that. So, yeah. It's my birthday in six days. Well, happy birthday in six days, Callie. I do hope you, um, have a good one. I do hope you have a good one. Awesome. Awesome.
Hmm. Yeah, my birthday is not for a while yet. Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. It's all good. And yeah, I've um, I've not been too bad. I've not been too bad. It seems like everybody's um enjoyed Doom tonight, so I'm gonna bring more Doom for people. They did seem to um have a good time with it, so I won't deny people more Doom if they've enjoyed it. Yes, very good, very good. Hmm. Awesome. Okay then. Well, I guess now is um probably a good time to wind things down. But yeah, I hope you have a, a good birthday. I hope you spend it with your friends or family or loved ones. And I'm, I'm wishing you the very best. Yep. Alrighty. And this is where we're going to wind... Yeah, this is where we'll wind things down. I will have a good day. Well, night for me, Callie. It's night time. But yeah. I'll have a good night. Going to get comfy. Watch some anime in bed, I think. So yeah. You have a good day or night too. Wherever you are. So guys. I have been Silver. Your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon or night. And I will see you again very soon. Take care, guys.